Good morning. Good morning. How are Sorry, you? I'm, I'm Dan. <laughs> this is Dane Henning. <laughs> the psychedelic dude. I am Lisa Howe, the hippie chick. <laughs> I got the good vibes. Welcome to Good Vibes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gary caught us off guard for a yeah. second there. <laughs> we were being goofy. We have a show to do. We have a show to do. I'm over here dancing and we got, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I found a list of really cool rules to live by that cool. I wanted to share and talk about today. Let's do it. Let's okay, so Gary's got a graphic he's going to put up, and I'm going to read through them real quick, and then we'll go back and review. Um, make peace with your past so it doesn't disrupt your present. Okay. What other people think of you is none of your business. Okay. Time heals almost everything. Give it time. No one is in charge of your happiness except you. And don't compare your life to others, and don't judge them. You have no idea what journey, their journey is all about. Okay. I think those are all... Very wise think, Yeah, I think those are all pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So make peace with your past so it doesn't disrupt your present. I think that's so important and probably one of the hardest things to do. Um, I think people tend to hold grudges. And, sure. And yeah. I think that festers. That's kind of that positivity challenge. Mm -hmm. When you hold on to those things, I think you bring more of that into your life. So if you can let go of that and do more positive things and think more positively, then that's what you're going to manifest in your life. Well, if you're living in the past, you're not living in the present. That's true. I mean, you're not you're not looking forward to the future. You're constantly thinking about what was either, whether it was good or bad. I true. mean, it, it doesn't true. have to be a grudge. It could be, you know, you could be the... Hanging on to the past. You could be yeah. that guy that is still thinking about his, the state football championship in high school <laughs> 20 years ago. You could still be that person. It's yeah. like, dude, you're 40. Come on. <laughs> You're four years old. <laughs> it's time to move on. <laughs> okay. So, so I mean, it, it could be both sides. Yeah, I mean, if you're living in the point. past, you're not living in the present, and there's no way that you can go on and look, at, look toward the future. I cool. Think, I like that. Yeah. So, okay. What other people think of you is none of your business. Mm, that's hard. That's a good one. That's hard, though. It is hard. That's difficult. But, you know, I really believe, and, and I have been known to say this to people that are very close friends, I wouldn't uh -huh. say mm -hmm. <laughs> to everybody, but I tell them that that's a bit conceited. <laughs> you know, if you're thinking yeah, about yourself that, that much yeah. or what other people think of you, that's really a form of conceit. So, you know. It is. I, let it go. It, it is. It is. <laughs> there, and yeah. I think all of these rules, I I mean, I can say that I was guilty. I'm guilty of all five of these rules. <laughs> we and I'm all sure, are I'm one sure time all or another. Yeah. Um, but uh, I can't judge. So That's, that's right. That's um, right. No, exactly. Because if you're... Give me the rule again. Um, what other people think of you is none of your business. Yes, exactly. So I I do that quite a bit. There have been times where I have worried for years about what somebody thought of me. Aww. Be, and that they didn't like me or whatever the case might be. Um, Everybody likes you, dang. And, <laughs> and it's uh, Facebook has actually made that a lot more difficult <laughs> yeah. for people that are like that. Because I'm part of some groups on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. And... Um, one of them, like one of them, is a sports group or whatever. I'm okay. a big St. Louis Cardinal fan, and somebody had commented something, and never go into the comments. Just, just stay away from the comments. It's fine. But um, I had replied to him, and I'm like, "Is that really your stat that you're gonna?" So he brought up something about stolen bases. No, no, it's not important. Anyway, that's the point. Is this, it wasn't important, but the guy blocked me. Oh, so I couldn't see what it was responding. Uh, that bothers it you. It got me for like three that days. I'm like, I can't. Why did he block me? I don't know the guy. I don't. <laughs> this, yeah, this he wasn't didn't very need long. He that ago. kind of negativity in his life, so he blocked you. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even that day. But that was the thing is, like, it bothered me for so long. And it was so stupid. And it did not matter at all whatsoever. Okay, let it go. And let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Okay. I'm time on. heals almost everything. Sometimes, yeah. Give it time. Yeah, time. So, and I know that one is. I find so true for me. Now, it won't heal everything. There are some things that I don't know that you can ever fully get over, like losing a spouse sure. or something sure. like that. But, you know, I we've talked about this before. If I've got something I'm upset about, I'm worried about, I'm unsure about, or even something that I have a snap judgment about, mm -hmm. and I'm very passionate mm -hmm. about that snap judgment, I try to always sleep on it. Yeah. Because the next day, I look at things totally differently. It's amazing what a night's sleep will do mm -hmm. to change my perspective. Well, you know, and I don't know why I thought of this, but in comedy, they say that comedy is tragedy times time. 
So anything True. could be a joke, anything could Eventually. be funny, anything could have humor as long as there was enough time allocated yeah. to where it's not like an offense. So like, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that saying, because I mean, if you're holding a grudge mm-hmm. or something, obviously something, something happened, something bad happened mm-hmm. is the reason why that is happening. So yeah, just, yeah, time Give does. time. Time yeah. does feel all of them. That's for sure. This is my favorite one. This is something I've talked about for years. No one is in charge of your happiness except you. Think about that. How you react to things determines your happiness. If you let somebody blocking you upset you, you could choose to let it upset you. You could Uh choose to say, "Mm, okay, walk away. You know, so you are the one that's responsible for your happiness, how you perceive things, how you react to things, how you react to other people, Mm -hmm. how you interact with other people. Those are all choices you make. If I walked into the office in the morning and told you, you know, your hair looks terrible today and your shirt is wrinkled and would you be happy with me? Would you... Would we have a fun day? No. But if I walk in and say, dang, you look fabulous. I can't wait to do the show with you. Are you going to feel good about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So just those little things can make a huge difference. And that goes back to your self-talk, too. Mm. If you're saying negative things about yourself, you're going to have a bad image about yourself. And you're going to act negatively toward everyone around you, which Mm. manifests more negativity. So keep it positive. Well, I think there's another layer to that too, yeah. is you can also, yeah, other people aren't responsible for your happiness, but something that you can do, like you said, um, you were worried about my happiness just now with, oh, your your hair looks bad and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, or whatever. Or I could say, hey, you look great. We could, that helps you because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happier with you and we're going to have a good time. So don't be afraid to, to try to make somebody else's day better That's because- right. It yeah. helps you too. Helps you too. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the last one is don't compare your life to others and don't judge them because you have no idea what their journey is all mm-hmm. about. True. And I know that's really challenging sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've gotten better at it over the years, but it's so easy to say, you know, oh, you know, that person just went through line in front of me and paid with food stamps, but she's driving a Lexus. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't know if that's her car. You don't know... If she's buying food for herself, you don't know the situation and it's none of your business. (laughs) So don't waste your time comparing yourself to other people or judging other people. It is not worth your energy. I think think you, I mean, you can compare people both from a positive and a negative. I think that's a natural, I think that's a natural thing for people to do because humans are, we're a societal Mm -hmm. species. So Mm -hmm. we, we tend to do that. But so, I mean, if somebody living next what what is it that what is it that the Bible says? Don't covet your neighbor. Your, don't your, covet thy yeah, neighbor. Yeah, don't covet wife thy neighbor. Or neighbor. Don't, yeah, yeah. Neighbor. I mean, it, it's not healthy. There's nothing mm-hmm. healthy about it. If I'm constantly worried about what the Joneses are driving, yeah, and whether my car or my truck is better than theirs, then it's not. I'm not. It's not doing anything for me. No. Just worry about me. That's right. Worry about you. Yep, worry about you. So those are my thoughts on the day. How are you doing on your uh, exercise and drinking? You still doing good? Uh, about the same. About the same. About the same. Trying to get a little more water. But a little more. A little more. Okay. Still doing the exercise. Doing the exercises yep, at home. Doing the exercise. I get Lizzie involved with the exercises. I get, it, Izzy loves it. Izzy, uh, so my wife breaks out the elliptical. Uh huh. And then Izzy has this little tykes trampoline. I love it. With the handlebar. <laughs> and she just gets up and just gets going. Just gets going. Yeah. Like little three year old. Just. Going. That's awesome. Teach her young. Yeah, she yeah. has a good time. That's great. It's she's great been, that you can do it as a family. And she's not very coordinated. That's she's okay. not a very coordinated child. She will she still has a bump on her head from Aww. running into the corner of the wall. <laughs> still, to this day, I, I mean, this was like a year ago, mm-hmm. and she still has kind of a Well, a year bump. ago, she was two. I know. Yep. I mean, that's what two-year-olds do. Well, my friend's, my friend's <laughs> three-year-old, he's like riding on those hoverboard things Are you that comparing? they got for Christmas. I am. <laughs> Don't do it. I, I told you, it. I'm guilty of all five of these things. <laughs> I'm a heathen. Uh, I have found out. I am non-compliant. I, yeah, I have found out that my biggest problem, I guess, with mm-hmm. exercise is my balance. Because I have gained my weight in okay. my core. Okay. My core is not as strong as it used to be. I used to be really strong. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's really what I have to work on. And it's affected my balance. Oh, and yeah. so, especially on that we, I mean, you move a 
fraction and it shows you at the end, you know, when you finish your exercise, it's got a little dot and it shows you where you moved. <laughs> and mine's never like in the middle. It's like, you know, that, No, that makes sense because I actually read a study, I don't know, a year ago or so. Um, well, it's not, it wasn't really a study, but it was some research that was done. Um, and it's not anything new or anything. It's just something that I read. In men, our center of balance is in our shoulders. Really? And women, it's in the hips. Hips. I, I would think. So hips, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, if if so, if if your body changes around that a that specific area, area, yeah. Because I remember, I mean, when I was really hitting the gym a lot, my shoulders were getting bigger. I noticed that I felt a little. Top mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, that mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. That makes yeah. perfect sense. So that's what I'm really trying to focus on is mm -hmm. my balance. And mm -hmm. that I think working on that core, those things together. Once I kind of master that, I'm sure. going to move on to more strength training mm -hmm. and, and maybe a little cardio. I'm not, I don't like cardio either, but we'll get there. Cardio. I've been doing Kung Fu, Rhythm Kung Fu or something on is my like, Wii Fit. Is it like Zumba? No, it's, it's like these little people on the screen and they, there's music and you do, 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 do. You, okay. <laughs> you, you sway back and forth with them and then they throw a punch or they oh, kick or they okay. whatever and okay. you have to mimic it's, it's like the first two do it and then the second two do it and then you do it and then you do it yeah and okay. then you have to, at the end you have to do this boom <laughs> and oh. if you don't do the boom it drops a kettle on your head it drops a kettle on your head because <laughs> so, I think it's a video game <laughs> but that actually is kind of cardio I mean it, it gets my right? heart rate yeah. up yeah. and it's I hard. enjoy doing that mm -hmm. because I'm going to meet Beat the darn game, you know? Yeah, and that's why that's how I always thought about exercising is that like if I'm doing strength training or whatever. Like my heart's pumping. Yeah. I'm getting cardio in. I'm just not running. Mm -hmm. You see? And I get some cardio in that I have um, a two story house. Yeah. And, you know, like yesterday I was doing laundry. I was up and down the stairs, I don't know how many times. And you do that two or three times in a row, I get out of well, breath. You feel it. Yeah. yeah, you feel it. Yeah. You feel it for sure. But I I feel it in my legs. Mm hmm and I feel Back it. in here, mm -hmm. in the quads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. Oh, I, yep. know. I know. Are you excited about uh, CNA Fest? We're getting closer and closer. Yeah. yeah it's only what now? Eight Six months, months away? Six something? Eight. Eight months. Eight. Yeah. It's yeah. August. So yeah. uh, yeah. eight, months, eight away. months away. So we're starting Ooh. to look for speakers and. I remember when it was 12. Yeah. Yeah. We just got back. Yeah. That's it. It's insane. But yeah, I'm, we're I'm excited. Super excited. And super excited. I've heard from a few people that are interested in volunteering. So if that's something you're interested in, reach yeah, out. So. We'd love to yeah, so. love to get some help. From There's you. always a lot of work to do, especially with the stage and mm -hmm. the day before is crazy. And, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about exercise. Yeah, and the club accounts are open. Yep. And the registration is open. open. So um, I know Geraldine Mackey had posted that she registered, she registered. this weekend, she and. The club accounts are great because you can just put in whatever you want. So if you want to put $10 a week, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. works for your budget. If you want to do it once a month, if you want to wait till your taxes are done and mm -hmm. pay it all at once, yep. you can have the club account all set up and just pay into it. And, and, and you can register without paying anything. I mean, you can oh, register. Yeah, you you can don't have to have it paid yeah, to do the registration. Paid. You can register and just say, hey, pay by check. and Right. And then go you, to your club account. Yep. Go to your yep, go club Perfect. account and just pay out of that. Yep. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, go on and register and we cannot wait to see you there. So yep, absolutely. Until next time, we're gonna we're say gonna... peace out. Peace out. Mm -hmm. I like it.